Hey, hey, it's Foxan, which is appropriate. I'm wearing the right t-shirt today for once. Uh, Foxan is coming out. We're going to a show tomorrow, the Pembrokeshire Classic Car Show. Um, should be quite a big show. And uh, as we're actually going to be childless, we've got one hublet away and the other one not interested. Uh, we thought we'd actually get a two-seater out. So Foxan it is, uh, our sports utility here. Uh, no, not sports at all. Uh, but, you know, we, we've got our whales... Uh, back grill badge thanks to the lads at the Reliant Owners Club uh, so you know we're, we're kind of set fair but I thought before I go anywhere a couple of things I'd like to address one I'd like to take a look and see if I can do anything about the ride height because she's definitely settled down low here at the front she's looking like a bleeding race car and the second one is as Adam keeps telling me I need to adjust the front wheel bearings because they were brand new and they do um, bed in and uh, it's a good idea to adjust them after a few hundred miles. Um, scarily, since she went to Adam for all that work earlier in the year, was that February? Um, might have been March. Uh, yeah, she hasn't done very many miles at all, so it's not like it's really bad I haven't done that yet. But nonetheless, Adam will be much happier if I actually do it. And uh, I might have to do something about these door hinges as well. I'm thinking of going black on these. Uh, the emulsion has not worked well on the metal. It's been fine generally on the bodywork, although she's very grubby, getting the dirt out of the emulsion is quite tricky. But uh, yeah, these hinges are starting to look very grotty. So I might see what I can do about those. And then, uh, yeah, off, off we go for adventures. Looking forward to it. Oh dear. Picked up a bit of scratch damage there. Not to worry, just get the emulsion out. Uh, but that's not the focus of today. Uh, today will be the wheel bearing. So I think we can just pop this little cap off. And then we've got access to the main nut. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get on with it. Well, after a cup of tea, speaking of tea, um, we, we have Foxan mugs available at the Hubnut store, as well as t-shirts. We've only got a few of these blue ones left. I need to restock, um, but that will happen. We've got some black t-shirts, some blue t-shirts. Uh, we've got um, the uh, mugs, uh, as you just saw. A whole bunch of merchandise. So look in the description below, you'll find links to our two stores. Uh, one is the main store, the other one is our Teespring store, where you can find Giselle merchandise. Uh, because if I rush around the back, <laughs> because French, we've got these stickers on the main store as well. So yeah, all the good times. We've got Matisse t-shirts, I think I need to restock those as well. Talk t-shirts and mugs, we've got a good number of. We will have some Daihatsu merch coming, so we, we'd better get that working. I uh, just gave her a quick run briefly this morning and still sounds good so yeah hopefully all will be well uh, we just need to get on assembling that which we'll hopefully do a bit of next week i'm, I'm away quite a lot uh, in the coming weeks so it's going to be a challenge but we need that car back on the road oh, this is going very hub nut already i can't get this stupid cap off it seems to like it in there there's basically nothing to get hold of for you to try and um, pull it out Oh, 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 there's not enough edge to get something in down there. Oh, how annoying. These can almost get a grip on it, but not quite. See, it just likes it there. Yes, another simple job goes horribly hubnut. Those of you who saw my road test of this Mercedes-Benz 190 know what this means. Yes, I had to resort to getting Tim from um, Cambrian Classics Limited out. Um, because uh, M MGs have similar things, don't they? It's a typical old car thing. Sometimes they've been in there a long time and they get stuck. So, Well, that one hasn't been there a long time because it's had a fresh wheel bearing. And I've been told now it's done a few hundred miles it needs nipping up. So, yeah. so okay. th these are your weapons. Yeah. Um bit of leverage is the thing. I mean, these give you a nice good bite and um, you know, it's quite a small cap so it'll probably just be the small ones but... Of course it probably helps I've now walloped a square on the end of it. Uh, it doesn't look like any grease cap I've seen before. No, you know, violence may have been deployed because yeah. surely everything just needs the big enough hammer. Uh, difficult to hammer <laughs> off. Yes. <laughs> okay. May have been a certain amount of frustration creeping in. Yeah, not much to hold on to. Oh, there we go. Easy when you know how. Yeah, yeah. Your, your mole grips are nice and pointy. Mine 
Yeah, Here come the excuses. My, mine, not quite so good. Yeah. Well, should we? Sh ended pipe ribs. Yeah. We should we really try? Should we see if we can get the passenger one off? Oh, okay. This one's still round. <laughs> However, you can see it does actually have a bit of a shoulder on it, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Well, let's try these first off on the off chance. Just like that. There we go. It's all in the technique, folks. It's all in the technique. Thank you. No problem. Right, now we can actually uh, adjust the thing. Unfortunately, Tim was following me in and noticing just how um, blue the smoke is uh, with Foxan. Although we did discover that um, the breather is not breathing all that well. So I've just got that sitting in some um, uh, carb cleaner. We'll try and clear that out a bit. Block breathers seems to be a developing theme on the fleet at yes. the moment with the state of the GSA. Because... <laughs> I don't really want to drive the GSA. GSA is currently breatherless. I've had one arrive. I think it's the wrong one. How very hud nut. Okay then. So while you're here, I've got your benefit. I presume these are tapered bearings, which is why we need to adjust them a bit. Yes. Yeah. So, so we'll have to jack it up. Mm -hmm. And um, you just want a little bit. Just, just a touch of play. Just a touch, because as you drive it and it warms up, the bearing will expand, and if it's too tight, then you'll like Okay, the so, so do you want any drag as the wheel rotates, or do you sort It's of... kind of a feel thing. Okay. Um, some some cars, you know, you can use a dial gauge and get absolutely bang on, and it depends on the setup. Yeah. Some cars are tapers, some have got shims, that are done up tight. So we'll have a look now and... Um, okay, I shall grab a trolley jack. Interestingly, the driver's side hasn't actually got any play in it at all, but we seem no. to have a little bit this side, so... Yeah, this side's got probably a touch too much, I would have said. Considering you've just driven it. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I can hear that. Clunk, clunk. Yeah. It's still not huge amounts, but... And very difficult to try and show on camera. Yeah. But uh, definitely a little something. Okay. Yeah, it's not in anything else, it's definitely the bearing, so... Well, nip this one up a touch. The other side, I think, is going to be okay. Well, I'll be a little curious to back the other side off, actually, and re... Redo it. Retighten it and feel it, just in case it's a touch too tight. Mm -hmm. It's never good either way. We've got some... Um... Oh, I can do it with these, I suppose. That definitely wasn't tight-tight, was it? No. I mean, obviously, you don't do that enough, as tight as you can get it, or you just destroy your wheel bearing. Yeah. You've got two holes. You've got one split-pin hole goes straight down and one that goes across, so you can... Oh, okay. You get... A sixteenth of a turn adjustment, if you, if yeah. you know what I mean. So you can see the hole there. We're no longer lined up with that one, but we are lined up with the um, horizontal. See, if I go to the next one, that feels tight on the on the nut, and the bearing is tight. So yeah. we want we only we've gone up one one sixteenth of a turn as well. Yeah, just a just a little bit. Lovely. So you, split, you split pen. I'll see if I can find one. Right. So one side is done. Yeah, this, this side is tight, there's no play there whatsoever, so I'll try backing it off a little bit. I normally sort of go back and forward just to find the sweet spot with it, really. Mm. Yeah, so I've gone, gone back one twelfth, whatever mm -hmm. that is, okay. um, to go to a horizontal split pin hole, the other one is just just a little bit which is perfect and uh, i will be ordering up some new board, um, bearing caps because these ones both, both of them are seen <laughs> better days the one over this side yeah it's, it's got a split in the one that side yeah it actually got a split in it so it's not quite sitting no right. i meant uh, to get it in and so it won't come out but it's so distorted that yeah so it'll be interesting to see when i get the new ones if i've now got the technique to remove <laughs> the old ones i'm gonna get another call again yeah entirely possible but this is very typical British engineering, and uh, I'm not used to that because I own French cars and they do things differently. There are no adjustable bearings on the 2CV's wheels. So there we go. Uh, Foxan, hopefully in finer fettle now. We've cleared out the engine breather, done the wheel bearings. Uh, I don't think that's going to cure the oil burning. I think she's now a smoker. I think that engine is a bit tired. We've still got the timing chain rattling away. Uh, poor Foxan. Uh, that engine, to be fair, that was given me free, and I'm very grateful for it, the uh, chap in the Reliant Owners Club, because uh, it got us on the road. We've done quite a few thousand miles on that engine, but uh, it's starting to become apparent that that engine is going to need a rebuild. But I'm afraid if 
Foxan, you're a bit down the queue when it comes to that sort of thing. Uh, so what we've got going on next week, engine is arriving for early the 2CV, but I don't really want to start on that until we've got the Daihatsu done. That is in engine rebuild location. I've got fuel injectors to go in the Matiz. Uh, there's an awful lot needs to happen on the Invercar. I've just cleaned the battery terminals on the GSA after a discussion with Tim. Um, let, let's eradicate the really obvious things before we get too carried away with what might be wrong with Giselle. Uh, we've got things to do on the Bolingo. The Bolingo is going to go away and have some work done. A uh, local garage because uh, I just don't have time, uh, to be honest. And uh, this is meant to be the dull, dependable daily with good parts availability, but we can just send anywhere and it'll get fixed. So that's what we're doing. We're sending that away for the cam belt. Uh, Toyota will be departing next week. So this is an interesting moment to compare with what, what I should have bought originally with what I actually bought. Didn't work out well. Twin rear wipers, yes, magnificent, but not the car for us. That is the car for us. It is going very well, as hopefully you've seen in a previous video. Whereas um, Betty, um, there will be some Betty news soon, uh, but mostly Betty is in hibernation pretty much because of fuel prices at the moment, absolutely horrific. And uh, we've got some other things to tell you about fairly soon as well, so do stay tuned. But yeah, Foxan is set for the show tomorrow in Pembrokeshire. Really looking forward to it. It'll be nice to have a little outing in Fox Ann. and uh, otherwise I guess I'll see you in a future video. Uh, don't forget the merchandise is available at hubnut.org or check the description below and various support options too and you may notice under my videos there is a super thanks option if you wish to click that you can just say thank you with a little financial prezi uh, that is a new thing on the channel you don't have to you can if you want to uh, but you can also watch for free you can subscribe you can like all these things are possible and you already know this because you're seasoned youtube viewers yourselves as am i myself so thank you for watching i'll stop waffling and farewell <laughs>